at the time I was working in a year three classroom and in that I decided to run a couple of different um, units of work. At the point in time uh, we had a knowledge and understanding uh, section of the curriculum and then we also had a processes and production. So for the knowledge and understanding I did a unit on symmetry where the outcome of mass was about looking for symmetry in the environment. They went out on either digital cameras or iPads and took photos around the school of things that they thought were symmetrical. And then they came back and they had to justify or prove why they were symmetrical using either uh, crop tools in um, PowerPoint or Word uh, to manipulate them and move them around or alternatively it on explain everything on the iPads where they had to actually sh uh, prove it, I guess, using their, um, I guess their language. Then in addition to that, they had to do an action project on a unit of inquiry where they were looking at the effects of, um, I guess, environmental effects or uh, issues with animals in the environment. And so some of the students made, or well, all of them did, made games in Scratch. Um, so basically after that, um, I wrote some reflections and I think it was also reflections about my teaching because you don't always get things right first time and you have to trial things and practice them again to make sure that you're I guess constantly learning and improving on your own teaching but also it gave me some insight into the potential uh, with students and how far and what they can achieve and how quickly they pick up on things. Um, what we decided was a dedicated unit of work at year eight, which would run for a semester. One of the difficulties in addressing the curriculum is that if we actually introduce a new unit of work is where that actual time is going to come from. So there were lots and lots of roundtable discussions with learning leaders about that. Um, I think one of the challenges of um, addressing the curriculum is, you know, the philosophy that you're actually going to use in the activities you're you're going to get the students to perform. I think from our point of view, we want to use much more of a constructivist approach where um, the, you know, very hands-on, uh, real-life type learning to get the students really motivated and involved. What we're doing at the moment is uh, to, I guess, test some of the activities that we have looking at in the unit of work is we've got a coding club running uh, for year seven to nine. We've also got dedicated days in a year immersion program where we're running Minecraft activities and also coding activities. With the addressing the year 9 and 10 standards, what we'll probably be doing is offering um, those students at year 10 the option of completing a, a Unit 1 VCE computing or uh, the Unit 2 VCE computing.